Okay, welcome to video four of my series, So You Want to Be a Computer Technician. In each video, we talk about a skill or an item you need, and then we talk about a book that will complement you with what you're trying to do. Um, we've talked about having a space for it. I'm going to talk about um, a couple of other things in this video that you really need. Um, one of them is a desire to learn. I constantly have to learn in my job. I constantly have to learn new things. And I've met technicians that have said, well, I'm done learning. You know, I hate Windows Vista. I'm not going to learn anything about Windows Vista. Well, okay, uh, you've just divorced yourself from your income stream. And I've met cust I've met computer technicians at every stage in the ballgame. I've done this for 14 years now. And at every stage in the ballgame, I've met computer technicians who've said, I've learned Windows 95. Why learn Windows 98? I've learned Windows 98. Why learn Windows Millennium? Now, I hated Millennium, admittedly. I've had people tell me, well, I understand NT in 2000. Why do I need to understand 98? and Millennium. Well, duh, if you're working with the public, you're going to have to work on those things. You know, admittedly, I've worked for uh, with Windows XP. That's funny. That was supposed to be muted. Um, in the, the end result of all that is that you are... Um, you're working with the public, and if you don't know your product, how can you support it? And you know, I, I worked with Windows XP for so many years, for around 10 years. When Windows 7 came out and, and Vista came out before that, I was admittedly a little frustrated with with a lot of the changes. But duh, it's part of learning. It's like going to college part time all the time. And I don't mean that you can't spend time with your family, but what I do mean is you need to learn. You need to learn from books like what I have here on the screen, Windows 7 Tweaks. You need to use the product. I have to constantly invest money in new new things. Now, I don't necessarily have to buy every single computer that comes out. No, I don't do that. My laptop's about four years old right now. I've upgraded it several times. I'm very happy with it. But that being said, I also learn new things constantly. I have a Nook. I'm working on buying a Kindle. Um, I do remote support. I'm reinventing myself constantly because unless you do, you cannot continue to support the customer. You have to change and you as a person have to constantly rewrite yourself for this job. If you don't have that desire and you don't like learning, this is not a job for you. Um, you also have to have a desire to know what the problem is, uh, a desire to stick with it. If you get frustrated easily, which I mentioned in the first video, this is not a good job for you. I have literally worked on problems that did not make sense for hours. I remember dealing with a networking issue that I could not get figured out, and no matter what I did with it, it just seemed crazy. And my frustration after six hours was starting to really show. I had to walk away. Had a really nice client. I never said a word to him about it, but they could tell I was fighting it. And at the end of those, it was about eight hours that I was there, I prorated my bill. I gave them a reduced bill, and they appreciated that. It wasn't that I was inept. They had had a couple of other guys out before that couldn't figure it out, build them a lot of money, and left without solving the money, the problem. rather. So it cost them money, but no solution. I don't do business that way, and I recommend that you don't either. It's won me a lot of customers. I've worked with around 1,200 different clients in the last four, uh, about the last eight years, rather, for myself, and who knows before that. I've only been able to track the last eight years because that's in my paperwork. But anyway, th those are skill sets that you're going to need. That stick to itness, that drive that we've mentioned before, the patience with people. Next, you're going to need, like I said, books like Windows 7 Tweaks, and I'm going to show you a couple more in this video. Now, another one is the best of Windows 7 Secrets, and you can find those out there also for older versions of Windows. You've also got, uh, here's the, the best of, or here's the best of Windows 7 Secrets and Windows 7 Secrets. These are things that you need. In other videos, uh, which if you haven't seen them, you need to go back and watch 1, 2, and 3 cover other books that you're going to be interested in. And you can slowly buy these books, add them to your wish list. You can slowly buy these books, but I recommend if you've got the coin, you can get $1,000 worth of books off of Amazon for 100 bucks easy. Um, I have a huge library full of books that are great references, and I mean, not, not everything you can not everything you need is going to be available on Google within an easy search. A lot of times it is, but that knowledge that you're going to get is going to be a lot deeper if you sit down and read something like this. So check these books out. Below the video you're watching is a uh, drop down. You can go directly to the link on the uh, Amazon site so I can save you not only money on the book because you can get it for uh, as little as $11 instead of $30 or um, $3.99 uh, instead of $7.99. So you can not only save money, but I can save you time looking for it. So have yourself a great day, and let's get out there and take care of the customer. Bye.